Hi everyone, so today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use AdWords. So I'm at adwords.google.com um, and we're going to go through the whole sign up process and everything like that and get to the point where you can actually create an ad. And then I'm going to go back to an account that I already created a while ago and show you how to, if you already had an account, how to create a new ad, how to use the keyword planner and some other tools along those lines. So we'll hit start now to begin our sign up process. Um, we're going to type in, I'm actually going to use a um, an older email that I have, All right? And I'll give it my personal website to continue. All right? I'm then gonna have to sign in, right, to that account, and eventually it should bring me into. So eventually it's gonna get me into, uh, I'd already started this process, so it kind of took me ahead a little bit. But eventually it's gonna get me into this spot, space where I pick a goal for my ad right now that I've signed in. And this is using AdWords Express. AdWords Express is kind of a guided process of creating your ads. You, I can show you later how if you just wanted to do this from the ground up, you can also do it with the more uh, the basic AdWords version. Uh, but let's say I want people to take an action on my website. So I used my personal website, billrand.org, right? So maybe they, I want them to come and you know find out about the kinds of things I do, the digital marketing classes I teach, maybe download a white paper or something like that. So I can choose take an action on my website as my goal. I can then target geographically where I want the ad to be seen. It's gonna default to the whole US, which it, you know, gets you 267 million people. But I can also add in specific locations, right? Like Raleigh, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, right? Um, Chapel Hill, right? Um, and so forth, right? To get the triangle, right? Um, and I could add in, you know, all of Wake County if I wanted to, right, as well, right? Um, that saying Raleigh's already in there, so we could remove that, right? Um, and I could add in the other counties of trial, right? So anyways, I can target as many areas I want or as few areas as I want. Um, and you know, you can kind of see how that spans out. And this is gonna only serve up ads to people that are located in those areas. So then I can hit next. Now I can define my product and service and it tries to guess based upon your website. So right now it says that I am, you know, maybe interested in doing marketing sites. I could be business marketing, right? I could be, for instance, give it my own category of digital marketing, right? And so that says it's limited people, right? So maybe maybe we want to do business marketing or marketing conference, right? And this is all, so it's telling me how many people, so it first takes the geography and now it says of those people in this geography, how many people, how many on a monthly, on a monthly basis, how many people search for words related to business marketing or marketing conference, right? Um, and it looks like business marketing is probably the most important here. So we can also just try marketing. Uh, oh, how, how about marketing research? That's a fairly generic one. Right? Oh, that's still actually less than just business marketing. Anyway, so then we can go on and we can enter in additional products. So we can say we do market research, we do market analysis, we do international marketing, right? And this is going to increase the potential size because this is other words in addition. Consumer research. Right, etc. So then we can hit next. And these are all words related to our business, right? We're helping Google trying to generate a list of keywords essentially that they would use. And so at this point, we're going to create the ad. And we haven't targeted the ad yet, but we're going to create the ad. The way it works is that um, you're going to have two headlines, each up to 30 characters, right? And so they could be like innovative marketing insights. We specialize in digital marketing. Right, let's try to keep the case the same. That's a little too long. It's 34 characters and we only want 30. So we could say um, uh, we specialize in digital marketing. Right? The idea that people can usually figure that out. Um, then we could say uh, based upon then we get 80 words for the 80 characters for the description based upon the most cutting edge research. We provide you with unique insights. Okay. Um, and this will give you a demonstration of how the ad will actually appear. Right now, it's going to go to billrand.org, but we could actually go to like a different web page all 
it all together, right? We could send people to, um, you know, build, or we could send them to a subpage, buildran.org slash something slash something, et cetera, right? Um, so this is this shows up. We can also create multiple ad versions, so we can have different versions of the ad. And now we're going to get into the money part, right? So we're going to, as it says, we're going to expect it to see 886 to 1,487 views per month. Based upon our ad, they're guessing we're going to get 90 to 150 clicks. So it's not bad. It's about a 10% uh, click rate, right? Um, we can then choose the amount we'd like to spend per day on average. Um, and this is showing us a typical competitor range, right? Um, so if we, should, if we set this down to $10, you'll see we're at the lower level of the range. And we can scale this up. And at the upper level of the range, some people are paying $29. Now this is, and, and at the same time, it's giving you an estimate of the performance and the estimate of the clicks, right, based upon that. So if I go way down low, I'm gonna get fewer clicks and fewer views. If I go up higher, I'm gonna get more views and more clicks, right? So it's set it around, let's set it up to $15 even, right, just to be even, right? So, um, now this is only setting the per day average. We haven't set the per click cost. And in fact, in AdWords Express, it's gonna actually set that up for you based upon what you've done, right? What you've entered and It's gonna try and guess what the optimal amount to spend is to get you the most clicks, right? Um, and so there you go, there's the whole setup, hit next. And then we come to a part where we actually have to try and enter some payment information if we want. Um, at this point, I already have an account. I've entered all that information into. Um, and sometimes, by the way, if you want to just play around with this, sometimes in places you can bypass AdWords Express. Um, at the very beginning, you could just choose, I don't want to use the guide. I want to just go straight in. And that helps as well, right? Uh, but anyways, just if you want to play around with it. Um, you actually, even if you give, you enter a credit card, unless you actually start a campaign, you won't ch be charged anything, right? Uh, so you can set all this up without actually running a campaign. But at this point, let me just switch real quick to my other account and we'll, I'll show you how that works.